Zion Williamson's MVP candidate, and it's not only because he's outright dominating teams offensively, it's because he's playing defense. He's basically averaging a double double with his rebounds. The guy's an absolute freaking. I we've never seen anything like this before, and for me, I think. It's wild. We saw him tonight, 35 points, two for three from three-point land. Another thing, he's got a three-point shot. He's passing the ball. People forget that coming out of college, everyone was like, this guy's got passing IQ like a Ben Simmons, like a LeBron James for a guy his size. And Williamson has scored at least 30 points with five or more rebounds four times already this season. And it's his second straight 35-point outing and their seventh straight win. It's their best record through 26 games in franchise history for the New Orleans Pelicans. Pelicans just straight up can't be stopped. Zion Williamson is dominating and unstoppable. They're 18 and 8. And they sit alone atop of the Western Conference. One game ahead of the Memphis Grizzlies. This is the first time they've been in first place since April 11th, 2008. And you can tell that this team has a lot of experience that has carried over from last year's run. And a lot of guys who are young getting more opportunities to show what they could do this season and build off of last year, especially like Trey Murphy. And with the injuries to Brandon Ingram, Herb Jones, CJ McCollum, we've seen guys like Nanji Marshall, Trey Murphy, Jose Alvarado, all take the necessary jumps that are needed and to build that winning habit and culture and it was funny that they got this win over Chris Paul, who was the guy that led this franchise to their last winning record of first place. And I thought it was interesting because we saw Williamson, the way he's isolating people, shaking and baking, okay? And then stepping back or attacking the basket. And it was, it's, it's crazy to see how this is played, how they're doing it, because you can tell that Zion not only is hyping his teammates up, but they're hyping him up. And they're they're playing like amazing with Brandon Ingram's sideline. Williamson has put up number one options. Over the seven games, he's averaging 30 points, 9.1 rebounds, 5.3 assists, shooting 66.9% from the field. This is the guy that we saw from the 2020 to 21 season that made his first all-star appearance. The combination of strength athleticism is too overwhelming for opponents. The way that he causes opposing, opposing defense to have to shift and try to stop him no matter what he does, he just jumps, moves, or like, you know, finagles past them or even just brute strength empowers through them. He's operating at an elite level. And the Pelicans have the third best defense in the league with 108.4 defensive rating. And Brandon Ingram is going to come back. And this team is already looking like a true contender that's only going to get stronger by the game. And that's why this team is so exciting to watch. There's nothing like it. And right now, with every game that passes, they get closer and closer to being the number one team in the NBA, in my opinion. How are you supposed to stop them? They're hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. And for me, I think that's, it's crazy, okay? And it's fun. It's unbelievable to see what's happening. And for me, with more and more time, we're just seeing a guy that is, it's wild, okay? It's wild. It's wild. It's wild. And I'm loving, I'm loving it. I'm loving every game. And for me, I think, you got a top 10 center in Jonas Valanciunas. You got arguably a top 15 defender in Herb Jones. You got a guy who's playing like the floor general you need in CJ McCollum. You got Brandon Ingram. You got off the bench Najee Marshall, Jose Alvarado, Trey Murphy, Devontae Graham, Willie Hernan Gomez. Okay. And that's just not, that's just the guys that play regularly. They've got other guys on this team. And that's why it's so exciting to see what they're capable and what they're doing because this is a truly truly fun team to watch uh night in night out and it's due to the fact that of how they they play the game of basketball which in my opinion is one of their the best parts of what they've been able to you know do so i want to hear your guys' thoughts down below 
if there was anything I might have missed. And for you guys with this team, what's something that you hope that they, I guess you would say maybe change, update, or, you know, improve on that you think needs to be improved i just think this is just such a fun team to watch and with every game that we see them they just keep getting better and better and they're literally a top 10 offense and a top 10 defense or top five defense and a top 10 offense i think six in offense which is just absurd to think about like that's how talented they are so i want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section if there's anything i might have missed on and anything you guys wanted to hear but that's basically it for me. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good jazz. I want to hear your guys' opinions. And yeah, I think that's what we got today. So if if there was anything I might have missed, let me know. I don't know if you guys can hear my roommates, but eh, it was a good one. This was a good game. It's just showing you guys. I think the Pelicans might be going to the Western Conference Finals. If we had to be honest, that team might be my Western Conference Finals team of choice like seriously and that's how exciting they are so let me know if there was anything i'm you know you i might have missed that you guys would have liked to have heard and yeah i'm out of here so enjoy like comment subscribe do all that good jazz i'm peacing out till next time guys have a good one because i know i will go check out my nba show by the way it's a good time so bye